The biggest question and mystery to come out from the Tales of the Jedi trailer is undoubtedly who is the Inquisitor shown confronted by Ahsoka. There is a lot of speculation online that the Inquisitor shown in the trailer is the Sixth Brother. First shown in the comics, the Sixth Brother was once a Jedi known as Bill Valen. He is mostly known for being the Inquisitor that got his arm chopped off by Darth Vader during training, which was Vader's attempt to teach them to be more aggressive, and by chopping his arm off, Vader intended to teach the new Inquisitor about loss. The Sixth Brother was also known for his participation in the battle between the Empire and Mon Cala, in which the Sixth Brother, alongside other Inquisitors, hunted for the Jedi residing on the planet. But what does this really have to do with Ahsoka? Well, Ahsoka over the years has had many confrontations with different Inquisitors, the Sixth Brother is actually one of the first Inquisitors to get wind of Ahsoka's survival during the early years of the Empire. In the Ahsoka novel, we learn that the Sixth Brother managed to intercept surveillance hollows and reports of a Force-sensitive child on the planet Tabesca. While searching for the child, he heard another report from the moon of Rada, where there was an active Force-sensitive who was old enough to have received Jedi training. This naturally provided the Inquisitor with a much more attractive target. Turns out the Force Sensitive on that report was none other than Ahsoka herself. The two would eventually come face to face with Ahsoka facing off with the Inquisitor without a lightsaber. However, following their confrontation, the Sixth Brother was killed after his lightsaber became unstable and exploded. Ahsoka would go on and take the Inquisitor's crystals and purify them, completing her new white lightsabers. So it's no surprise that a lot of people are pointing to the fact that this Inquisitor here must be the Sixth Brother, which means the show is set to show us how Ahsoka got her white lightsabers. On top of that, the trailer makes no mention and doesn't show Ahsoka having any lightsaber at all. Another reason why so many have speculated that this could be the moment where Ahsoka defeats the Sixth Brother and retrieves the crystals. However, this might not be the case. Visually, the two Inquisitors look very different. Now, it is true that Star Wars does have a habit of taking creative liberties when adapting across mediums, and changes can at times be expected. But in this case, it just seems too radical of a change for it to make sense, or for audiences to make the connection. The character design shown in the trailer just seems a little too good for it to simply be the Sixth Brother. On top of that, the Inquisitor in the trailer poses a question to Ahsoka. And who might you be? Which seems to suggest that he wasn't really expecting her at all. So if this Inquisitor was meant to be the Sixth Brother, it would seem rather weird that the Inquisitor hunting Ahsoka would even pose such a question in the first place. Also, I know a few people out there have been saying this, but this could very well be Lux Bonteri, someone who Ahsoka had a very brief crush on during the Clone Wars. I've tried to figure it out, but Lux just sort of has a very generic face, so I'm not really sure if it is him or someone else entirely. It could very well be since the character does tie in very closely to Ahsoka's story overall, so let me know what you think in the comments down below. But getting back to the Inquisitor, we should also keep in mind that there are plenty of other Inquisitors that have yet to be introduced into Star Wars canon. The speculation is that there should be around 12 Inquisitors in total, and so far only around half of them have been shown. So Ahsoka's story here could very easily just introduce a new Inquisitor to the Star Wars galaxy, and frankly I think that will be a better way to go instead of rehashing the same story explained in the book. In fact, the author of the Ahsoka novel, E.K. Johnston, has come out to say that this Inquisitor is not the Sixth Brother, but instead an entirely new character. So you might think, well, that's it, isn't it? The whole matter is put to bed, and this Inquisitor is definitely not the Sixth Brother. Well, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. It should be clarified that the Ahsoka novel is still considered canon. But what Star Wars often has a habit of doing is giving its shows and movies priority when it comes to establishing lore, or in this case, potentially re-establishing lore. And this isn't exactly new, we've already seen this with the Kenobi show where after its release a big question mark has been placed on the many Kenobi stories told in the comics, which are still considered canon. 
Also, if you've read the Ahsoka book, you will know that parts of it have actually been decanonized, especially regarding the accounts for the Siege of Mandalore. Keep in mind that the book did come out before the last season of The Clone Wars, and so when Filoni decided to depict the Siege of Mandalore in the last season of The Clone Wars, a lot of creative liberty was taken which meant some differences to what the book was depicting. So it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility that the Tales of the Jedi decided to do the same thing when it comes to Ahsoka's story, especially when it comes to big moments of the character's life such as the story of how Ahsoka got her white lightsabers. So really, all it does is bring up the question of whether Ahsoka will get her crystals from this particular Inquisitor, and if that is the case then it would be retconning the story of how Ahsoka originally got her new crystals. So either Ahsoka is going to fight without her lightsabers and would later face the sixth brother where she would get her crystals, or this is going to be a massive retcon. Personally, I really hope that this is a new character and that they don't retcon the events depicted in the book. Not really a fan of going back and forth, especially on such an important character. Personally, I would introduce a new character and a new story and maybe use the events shown in the show and link it with what happens later in the book. I honestly think that would be the best option. But hey, I'm not the writer. So yeah, this video probably left you more confused about who the Inquisitor is than when you first started, and that's because it's a pretty complicated situation about creative direction and character choices. But I guess for now, all we can do is wait and see. Or better yet, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think this will be a massive retcon or this will be an entirely new character? Or hey, maybe it will be a bit of both. Regardless, I'm excited to see it come out next year. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. I am the Lost Acolyte, and I have spoken.